Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk. I'm Heidi Smith and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the United Kingdom. And today I'm talking uh, the new floral, uh, fine art floral suite. Uh, if you want to know more, pop along to, and have a look at my, the replay of my Facebook Live where I introduce this suite to you. But it is a beautiful floral suite suitable for all sorts of occasions and the stamp set alone is absolutely stunning. As you can see, you've got this two-step stamping with some lovely flowers you've got obviously some DSP to go with that and some dyes and the dyes don't just cut out the flowers you also have this lovely um, die that says just want to say um, and the, the idea behind that is that I show you, you those words are all separate and so here you go you can see here so you can say just to say you're lovely um, you know, just want to say, I'm thinking of you, um, just, you know, you're lovely, just good luck, just best wishes. So you can mix and match that um, as you like. Um, and um, as I say, great fun one along with these lovely um, little kind of postage stamp edged dies, which will cut out all of those sentiments as well. So that's the stamp set I'm going to be using today. I'm also going to be using some of the acetate. And now the acetate coordinates with the, the 12 by 12 DSP. You get three sheets of acetate and two of those three sheets actually overlay exactly the, um, the DSP. So you can see here, you've got this lovely DSP and then you can add lovely gold accents. The same with this one. Obviously this is a smaller piece just to show you. Um, and then you've got this third one which just coordinates, which is the one I'm going to use um, to create a uh, lovely acetate panel card. And you can see here I've actually used some of the gilded pearls, um, but instead, because I'm going to go for some pumpkin pie, I'm going to use some of the holiday rhinestones instead. Um, and the flowers that you've got lots of colours in here, but this is the DSP. As I say, it's 12 by 12 lovely floral images and they're all hand painted with sort of gouache so it looks really textured and then on the reverse you've got lovely sort of flirty flamingo that's pumpkin pie see here some kind of roses a bit of a knight of navy in there some bumblebee um i think it's poppy parade we've got in there as well um, and then we've cut so we've got some sort of pinkish ones and we've got some blue toned ones with sort of coastal cabana uh, pool party um, as well sort of and as you can see on the reverse um, and then the final one again sort of dark blue background and then sort of the lighter pool party so those are the products we're playing with and one of the things that I've done um, for my customers is actually um, gone through and created and for myself really created a whole swatch of different colours played around with the colour combinations not just the colours that are in the party but that enables me to kind of take a flower out and sort of say yeah that's the colour I want so this one I'm choosing here is pumpkin pie and real red so not a combination I would naturally have gone to but hey you know always good to to um, play with things and you'll see this card here has got a lovely makes most of the acetate um, and to create a lovely background for these super flowers so that's what we're doing so let's get cracking. Obviously you're going to start off with a piece of card. Um, you want half a sheet of A4 cardstock um, and you're going to just trim that down to 29 centimetres. So we've got a piece which is a, a ten and a half wide. I'm just going to cut this down to 29 and I'm going to just score that at 14 and a half. And then have a fold your card it doesn't it shouldn't make any difference which one's your front but when it, when you've decided which is your front what you want to do is line it up at two and a half centimeters and just cut from the top down to that um, score line lift it up it has got a little line on to indicate um, and then obviously you, you can either scooch it across like so and do it on this side or you can swivel it around whichever you're happier with and again just cut that down to that point there so you end up with this piece here um, and again your choice entirely either pop it into your trimmer and cut along or you can trim it with your scissors so you end up with this panel and obviously that wouldn't be very kind of secure um, to start off with so you're going to want to use your panel to uh, reinforce that so we're just going to cut um, a 
panel that is sort of seven and a half centimetres in width and fourteen and a half in length just to go onto the front of your panel and then decide uh, what I should have said decide which side you want it for if you're going to use it not overlaid it doesn't make a difference obviously this wouldn't work on the ones if you're overlaying on the DSP but this one they're both silver they're silver and gold foiled so I thought actually it might be quite fun to use the silver on this particular one to go with our sort of um, pumpkin pie so that's the panel we then want two side panels which are 14 and a half centimeters in length and we actually want these not quite um, not massive amounts different but 2.2 centimeters that's just so we can have a little bit of a narrower border so those are my two pieces for either side as well right uh, I should have said I use the thick basic white for the, for, for the card, um, whereas I'm using our standard basic white um, for the stamping. So when you come to do the stamping then, we have got our pumpkin pie, I've got my real red. Um, I've also got the little sort of floral accent and I've got my little... Now this one is designed to go with the... Um, with this pack with this one here to add, to add some depth but you could add it as a third layer to the center of this one or add it um, as an overlay onto this one as well so lots of options there but the first thing you want, you're going to want to do is stamp your flower so just take it and stamp and what I find the best thing to do is then take my next layer and I line up this kind of pointy bit here and this bigger bit here um, and just hover over the top so it's not a you know it doesn't have to be a perfect match the beauty of this is really forgiving so however you stamp it you see you've got the lovely layers there then you can come in um, again with real red and just add that to the center there if you wanted to to add a little bit more depth or you could add some gilding um, likewise And then I'm going to come in with my mossy meadow here. And I'm just going to add the leaf in there. Again, you can see you add, get some texture straight away with these stamps. Um, I would normally have done those on my stamp and pierce mat, um, but because, um, because I've got my pad of paper, it's not quite so, um, so important. So, Oh, while I've got my ink out actually what I will do I'm just going to pop a little bit of a, a floral decoration across the bottom here so I'm going to grab my pumpkin pie and the, so just add those in So to give it a bit of depth, you can come in with your now. If you haven't got a die uh, cutting machine yet, you're just starting out. You don't need to die cut um, these. Obviously, you could hand cut the flowers if you wanted to, um, and still still have a lovely effect. Um, if you're just venturing into the die cutting, I would really recommend the mini cut and emboss. This fits. The vast majority of dies in, um, or many of the dies in the Stampin' Up catalogue, it does tell you if it's suitable. Obviously some of the larger ones won't work on this, but this set does. So I'm just grabbing my flower and my leaf, and I'm just going to pop those onto there. Now if you're worried about them moving, just grab a little bit of washi tape, um, and just line those up probably should have put another light on because it's possibly a little bit dark um, the light's suddenly gone darker and then pop your your top plate on obviously keep one for cutting one for um, one for going on the top I haven't 
line that up anywhere near as well as should then right okay washi tape time okay so what i mean is literally just once you've lined it up i usually li line up the stem on the leaf and just put a bit of tape there just to um just make sure it's on the outside rather than on the flower you don't want to um rip that off so just make sure it's on the die on the outer waist there we go pop that in there And the beauty of this little machine is that, look how neat it closes up. So even if you've got um, a very limited space for your crafting, this will do the trick. Okay, so pop our dies to one side. Here's our flowers and obviously it's a, 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 a blue peter moment where I've already done a couple of these. So I have some handy, there we go. And now we can finish creating our card. So the next thing you want to do is add the acetate onto the front panel. It's acetate, so you're gonna need a fairly good uh, seal. So I'm just gonna run some of our lovely seal plus just down each edge of that. If you find there's any that you've gone over, just roll it in with, with your fingers, tuck that in. Then all we're going to do then is just line up our panel on the front there. Then I'm going to come in and add my um, lovely layers. Uh, <laughs> just waiting for my refills to come, so I'm just back to my old snail. And what I've done here is actually lined that up with the cut edge um, so the border is on the outside edge so just like so so we get a nice border on the outside edge and that's about as straight as a dog's hind leg okay if ever you have that happen then the easiest thing to do is just before you've obviously pressed it down is just to peel that up there we go and then add it again. There we go. Okay, then we can add a piece the other side. And so you don't, it's just showing you don't always have to use the really big floral sort of paper. Sometimes the reverse is just as lovely using a slightly different context. And then all that remains now is to add your flowers. Now you can do those either with dimensionals or you can add them flat. But whichever way you decide to do it, just bear in mind that when the card opens you're going to see the reverse. So what I have done with these is I have just put up some glue on these outer edges of the flowers. And where they're going to overlap so outer edge and where it's going to overlap so a little bit here and a little bit on the outer edge like so then we can add our leaves now here don't be afraid to do a bit of surgery that's going to pop in behind there again our leaf we just lift that up very slightly. Just tuck that behind. And just put a bit more glue on there. And add a second one. So if we have a look at that, you'll see that the whole of that left hand leaf is going to be off the acetate so we can just add that there and there we have a pair of pretty cards using that fine art floral all that remains is to pop a couple of our lovely rhinestones on there and I'm actually going to use these lovely pumpkin pie ones that I've got and on these ones I put them on the little dots on here I'm just going to offset those slightly Right, hey, let's go mad with them. 
and there we go. So I hope you enjoy making this. Um, do have a take a look at the Fine Art Floral Suite. It is absolutely beautiful. I think you'll agree that whatever colour you um, do these in, the flowers look absolutely stunning. As you can see here, you know, you've got everything, you know, and they look so different, whatever the colour is. So really versatile and you could customise those to whatever your recipient prefers. So thanks for watching. Come back and see me again soon. And please do subscribe to my channel um, so that you get notified when I'm next. Um, posting a video and um, if you'd like to purchase any of the products the links are in the description bar below or pop along to my blog and you'll find the description um, and the links to my shop there I'd love it if you chose me as your demonstrator so thank you for watching bye